Good guys, welcome to another video. As you can see, I am back in Jamaica, mango tree behind me, and it's good to be back. As you saw from not my last video, the one before I think, I left Tunisia. Not well, well, I don't live in Tunisia anymore. I'll visit there, but I don't live there, so I'm back on a more permanent basis here in Jamaica. So it's sad to leave Tunisia, but I'm excited, you know, turning the page and. Um, very excited to be living in Jamaica again because I've lived here before for some time so I know I haven't been posting it's been over well over a month maybe nearly two months say I since I posted a video I apologize but I've been you know moving back and back and forth it's been a lot and I needed some time to just settle my thoughts and whatnot and within the time I have not posted I actually went to Trinidad for about three weeks so in this video I will mainly show you like a wrap-up of my three weeks in Trinidad so yeah I'll start with my trip from Jamaica to Trinidad so let's get that going Now in Trinidad, this is up St. Anne's where I grew up. That's the St. Anne's, where is it? That's the St. Anne's Valley behind me. And listen to that. Could you hear the birds? If it's one thing I like, you know, my parents, they live in the northern range of Trinidad. And there's a lot of what we call it, a lot of bush and neat here. For example, look at the back here, we have a mango tree. This is the mango leaves. And we have a zabuca or avocado tree right here. Avocado. And right on this side, where is it? Julie Mango. And of course, you know, I, I'm taking advantage of it. I'm picking some avocados and some mangoes so I could take with me when I go back home. We grind them down the, uh, the old fashioned way using a mill. So if you come and show any mill here. All right, you see it coming down here, and it have a what do you call it? A screw yeah. <laughs> pushing the dial forward into this grinder here, and it comes out like powder. Nowadays, they use food processor, but this better. This does make it come out so fine. All right, so in the Queen's Park Savannah, there's an area for food. We just walk through. Hello, that's in snow cone. I was snow cone. I was still going to. You was snow cone? Sahina, five, and the famous doubles. So, in we just be watching cricket. Check it out. So, it's after the match, uh, Shah Rukh Khan, the Hollywood actor, the Bollywood actor, I'm sorry, he attended the match. He owns the cricket team. And it's half past 12, and apparently we're stalking him at his hotel. We're waiting for him to arrive. So that's the next thing we do here. Good job, guys. Excellent. Good job, guys. You will end up seeing Shah Rukh Khan from a distance. He kind of took a, another entrance in. But we saw the players of the team that won the match tonight. So it wasn't a lost night. The stalking was worth it. And I guess the termination pays off. My niece went back to the hotel and actually met Shah Rukh Khan. So I'm in Port of Spain getting some documents and whatnot. Uh, but it gave me a good opportunity to uh, explore the government campus in Port of Spain. As you can see. Of 
course, the major thing about going back home to Trinidad is spending time with family. We had a few birthday parties and generally having fun with everyone. And as you can see, this time when I'm heading back to Jamaica, I'm taking my daughter with me, so I will not be alone anymore. I'm very excited for that. And we're back. And as you can see, it was a packed three weeks. Now, I hope to start posting videos again very soon. In the next day or two, I'll actually be posting a new travel vlog here in Jamaica of me going to uh, Dunn's River. So as you saw in the video, I'm now here with my daughter and I'm very excited to now share these adventures with her. I always appreciate your support, your comments and whatever you guys have to say. So let me know what you think below and as always, like the video, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. <music>